Jay. Hey. How's it doing? Well, it only took 14 hours, but he's quiet. Ah, ah, my coffee. And my wife. To wedded bliss. I'm just grateful we actually got all the way from the vows to the oh. I pronounce you husband and wife part. Yes, and I promise you, Julia is not gonna ruin it. She's gonna try, Jack, you know that. Mm. That's why I'm glad we're getting this paternity test done so fast. It's not fair to him to keep him hanging, yeah. And I, I don't know, I'm afraid to feel anything unless I really know for sure. Here you go. And he's yours. If he's yours, so I get custody and... Oh, it's okay. And Julia goes away. It's all right. And if she won't? If she won't. Look, what judge in the world is gonna give an innocent kid like this to a woman like that? Shh, shh, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you, by the way. For what? For taking me back after I was such a horse as you know what the other night. No, I know. I don't even talk about that night, okay? Shh, shh. I don't even want to think about it. You know, it, it, it's over. And we both did said some things that we shouldn't have. And we got back on track. So. Okay, all right. Fresh start. <laughs> okay. All right, hey. Oh, <laughs> hey, Jack, look what they did. Uh, our wedding cake. Yeah, I figured it'd be bad luck if you didn't at least taste it. Wedding cake for breakfast. I can deal with that. Hey, Mike, come on okay. in. Picture of the bride and a picture. Now that's of her. a really good idea. Yes. All right. Get in. Get in. Get in. Okay. Here, cuz. Okay, okay, okay. Make it nice. Okay. Say. Oh. Say. Cheese. Hey, Bill. And they all lived happily ever after. Oh, oh amen. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> dare I ask, where's Vampira? Uh, Julia, she's uh, she's locked up in the psych ward under observation. Ah, home sweet home. And the baby? Well, you saw him. He's cute. That's about all we know. Hey, you know what? I should go right now and get you a porta crib because that little carrier is not going to hold him for long. Well, you know, I've got a. There's a cradle upstairs in the attic. You know, let me let me go get it. Come on. Now don't don't answer that. No, it's <laughs> any moon or no honeymoon. It, it you might are wake on the vacation. Baby. It on... might wake the. Hey, yeah, Jack. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but you got to come in. Yeah, my wife just reminded me. I'm on vacation. Stembeck just walked in. What? Hold him. I am, but the lieutenant's out of town. Detective Hughes is out. Uh, Paul Ryan is downstairs charged with murder. Murder? Yeah, a, a woman was shot. He fired the gun. A uh, Vic by the name of Brandy Taylor. I'm on my way. Get cuffs on Stenbeck and read him his rights. Stenbeck? No, by the book, Hagwood. No force, no mistakes. You got that? I'll call you from my car. They just arrested Stenbeck. I gotta get down to the station. Just be careful. No, okay? no, I'm gonna be fine. I am. I'm more concerned about Carly being alone. We'll take care of her. Good. Hey, this is what we wanted. Stenbeck got a circulation, right? I guess. I, I was kind of happy knowing he was in Singapore. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. And you thought married life was going to be dull. Tell you what, I will, uh, I'll go and grab that crib, all right? Thanks. Carly, step back can't hurt you anymore. So they say. <sighs> I wish you were the crying type. Why? So I could wake the baby. Mm, so? So bad about that. Mike would just have to come and rock the little guy back to sleep. Don't you think Mike would make a great daddy? Oh. Jack, Jack, it has been much too long. James Stenbeck, you're under arrest for the crimes against Rose D'Angelo, Emily Stewart, and Carly Tenney. 
But, but isn't it Carly Snyder now? I mean, did the bride wear white? You're charged with aggravated kidnapping, unlawful restraint, aggravated assault, and reckless endangerment. Is that all? Aren't you going to throw in the charge of murdering the girl that Paul killed? First things first. You're not talking your way out of this one, James. We have a material witness. Oh, you mean my darling Barbara? I don't think she's going to be very helpful. Take Mr. Stenbeck downstairs. Easy. See you soon, Jack. If that's Stenbeck's file you got there, it's useless. I've just read it. You've got nothing, Jack. It's all hearsay. First Julia, now Stenbeck. Can't get a break. And you know that little baby up there, he raises some pretty tough questions. Do I really want to be raising Julia's child, having her butting into her lives for the next 20 years? Carly, he's Jack's baby, too. Maybe. Jack's doing that DNA test. Then you'll know. But I'll tell you what we're gonna do right now. You're gonna sit there and relax, and I'm gonna go see Gloria at the Lakeview Baby Boutique. We bonded over the twins, and she's gonna help me figure out what you need for the next couple weeks to keep things going, okay? And you, Mike, are gonna stay here with Carly. Yeah, you know what, I can go. I, I can go get whatever. Baby stuff? No, I don't think so. You stay here and protect Carly from whatever, and I'll be back. As if we don't have enough whatever of our own. Do you really think we have a prayer in hell they're not going to find out? The only way that Jack and Molly are going to find out is if we tell them. Which is an option. You can't be serious. Well, will they be angry? Yes. Will they forgive us? Probably. I mean, think about it. Jack walked out on you. I walked out on Molly. I mean, all bets were off. Plus, we drank a river of champagne. We already agree that that is not an excuse. We're old friends. Which is not a point in our favor, either. I mean, if we can't be trusted to know... We can to be... ...to leave well enough alone... We can be trusted. You're married. And, and I'm back with Molly. And you think that they're going to accept that? I mean, it's bad enough for Jack, but Molly, she's got two of us breaking her heart. Well, then we don't tell them. All right, we just, we keep our mouths shut and we move on. And Rosanna? I'll take care of Rosanna. You didn't see her at the wedding, Mike. She wants to ruin my life. And if she can take you down with me, all the better. Hi, I need four burger specials to go, please. You bet. Thanks, Carter. No problem. Rare. Gotcha. Aunt Molly, shopping for the new baby? Hello, Rosanna. I'm sure Parker would just love having a new little baby brother, but it must be kind of tough on the newlyweds, don't you think? Between that and the other situation, I really hope the marriage survives. And how does this work? I ask you about the other situation, and then you give me a load of bull about Carly? Come on, Molly. You don't have to pretend with me. We both know Carly spent the night before her wedding at her Monte Carlo office with a man who wasn't Jack. 